Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are kicking off my brand new spring cleaning series. And in this series, we are going to be going throughout my entire house and deep cleaning everything from top to bottom. And today we are starting out in my kitchen. I know it does not look like it's very, very dirty right now, but trust me, it is much dirtier than you realize. We are going to be getting up close and personal with all of those really dirty, disgusting messes, and we're gonna tackle them together. And before we jump into it, I did wanna share that there is going to be a giveaway in every single one of these videos in the series and then once we are done with all of the videos I'm going to compile them into one super long spring cleaning marathon and inside that marathon video there's going to be a grand prize giveaway so we have a lot to look forward to I will be sharing more about the giveaways later on in the video but we do have a lot to get done so let's jump to it I wanna hear you say it. Okay, so I had asked you guys in a previous video what style of spring cleaning you would like to see here on my channel, whether you would like to see a really long drawn out video where I basically go throughout multiple rooms in the house and maybe we have two spring cleaning videos on the channel this year. Typically, I feel like that's what I do. So if that's what you like, I will link my spring cleaning playlist from previous years up above. It will be a different house, but that might be kind of fun to kind of check that out if you haven't or if you just want some extra spring cleaning motivation today. But when I asked how you guys would like to see these videos, a majority of you guys said that you would love to see shorter videos, basically where I'm going through more in depth into separate rooms and smaller areas. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing. So what I did is I came up with a list and I have separate different rooms. And then inside those rooms, I have all the different tasks. So today we are really just going to be focusing on my kitchen, but stay tuned for episode two and three and four and five and all of them, because I'm going to be going throughout my entire house. I'm just breaking them up into smaller sections that might be a little bit more attainable just to kind of tackle it step by step and like room by room but also stay tuned for a spring cleaning marathon video because I am going to be compiling all of these into one super long video once we are all done with all of our spring cleaning and that way if you want to just tackle this all at once you can just hang on for that video because that one will be coming out in the next month or so. So like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I am going to be sharing a giveaway in every single one of the episodes in my spring cleaning series. So today I'm going to have a specific giveaway and then in episode two, I'll have a different giveaway that you can enter in, in episode three and continuing on throughout the entire series. And then like I talked about before, I'm going to compile all of the videos into one super long video. And in that video, I'm going to have like a grand prize giveaway. So let me know what you guys would like to see for that grand prize giveaway in the marathon video. I can either do just like one really large prize, like a vacuum or something like that, or I thought it would be fun to basically have the grand prize winner just win every single one of the mini giveaway prizes that we are doing in all these little episodes. So let me know what you would like for that. But as for today's giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a bundle of some of my favorite cleaning goodies that you guys always see me use in almost all my videos. I honestly haven't decided for sure every single item that I'm going to be giving away in that bundle, but it's going to be 
several different things and I know you guys will recognize basically all of them but they will help you in your daily cleaning and then also in your spring cleaning as well. And as usual, I'm going to keep things very simple for how to enter. All you have to do is of course be a subscriber because this is a subscriber giveaway and then also make sure that you leave a comment on this video. This is going to be your entry into the giveaway. And not to get too confusing, but if you're going to plan to enter into the spring cleaning marathon video, all you're going to have to do for that one because it is going to be a grand prize giveaway is go ahead and comment on all of the episodes of my spring cleaning series and then also on the marathon video and that's how you're going to be able to enter. So go ahead and get your comments in on all these videos so you can make sure that you're entered into all the small giveaways as well as that grand prize giveaway. And as usual, all the information for that will be down below in the description box. Now we have the kitchen nice and tidy. It's like surface level clean, but I haven't even wiped off the counters because I'm literally gonna be on the counters wiping down cabinets and all that stuff. And I'm going to do my best to work from top to bottom. That way I don't have to re-clean anything. So to help me stay on task, I just have my phone. This is just the little reminders app on iPhone. It comes with the phone, but every time I have lists, this is typically what it's on. And I always get questions about that. So I wanted to mention that, but I will turn you guys around, show you my list, and then we'll get to work. So now that the kitchen is nice and tidied up, we are going to start in on our spring cleaning. And to start, I'm going to be washing my light fixtures and then my cabinets. And for this, I'm just going to be using a microfiber cloth. And for the cleaning solution in a large mixing bowl, I am just going to have hot water mixed with about a tablespoon or so of a cleaning concentrate. You can use all different kinds of cleaning concentrates, but they really do work so well and they're also really affordable. It usually is like eight or nine dollars maybe for one that will last you seriously years. It just works super, super well and you can also make your own like multi-purpose spray this way. It's just a very affordable way to do it. Let me know in the comments if you have already started your spring cleaning or if you haven't quite gotten around to it yet. I was kind of hoping to start it a couple weeks ago actually, except you guys know that we were getting our house painted and different lighting put in and all the things. And so I wanted to wait until all of that was done before I actually started tackling the large time-consuming process of spring cleaning. And then I was also curious how you typically go about your spring cleaning. Do you follow a list that you make yourself or that you find online and just kind of clean randomly as you go? For me, I have definitely found that going by a list just helps me stay a lot more on track and be a lot more thorough in my cleaning. I just wanna get to know you I'm kinda sick of looking through the screen uh, Don't wanna be alone summer nights Staring at all of the pictures yeah, That I wasn't there to take Wishing we could be together uh, And it's messing with my brain Perfect. 
So as you're getting started with your spring cleaning, I feel like it's so easy to get overwhelmed, but I have done spring cleaning every single year for years, and I feel like I've done it all the different ways. I've done it sporadically throughout like a month. I've done all of it in one week. I've broken it up and done it room by room. I've just kind of done it with no rhyme or reason. And by far, my favorite way is to make a list of all the rooms in your house and then add tasks to do in each room and then go back through that list and organize them from top to bottom like physically from the top of the room to the bottom like from the ceilings or the top of your light fixtures all the way down to the baseboards and floors you really don't want to work from the bottom up or anything because then you're going to be dirtying the bottom and that's just one example of why I really find it so beneficial to actually go through and have a list it maybe takes a little bit more upfront time and planning but then things just go so much more smoothly and that way you can also take it one task at a time and one room at a time and it all just seems so much more manageable that way it it also helps me stay organized so if I only can do one room or one task at a time I kind of know where I left off and it's easy to come back later and just pick it right back up where I was not forgetting anything and not kind of overlooking anything So last year I picked up some knee pads for chores that I had to be on my knees for and it worked so so well. I used this specifically when I had to do all my baseboards in our Utah home and I totally underestimated how long I would be on my knees for cleaning the bottom of the cabinets and the kick plates and after a while I was really wishing that I took the time to use them this year. Thankfully we just had our baseboards painted and so I don't actually have to focus on our baseboards which is great because that is one of my least favorite spring cleaning chores but if you are having to do baseboards this year which I feel like majority of the time you do need to do those or if you have a lot of other things where you're needing to be on your knees a lot I would definitely suggest investing in a nice pair of knee pads you can just find them on Amazon or kind of all over the place and I will link my favorite ones down below but they are so worth it to just grab them put them on and it really does save your knees after a long day of cleaning Okay, so we have got a good bit done. It kind of looks better, but I know it feels better. These cabinets are just so worn down that even when you wipe them down great, they just still kind of look dirty, but that's okay. It is clean. So next I'm gonna work on our bar stools and then we'll work on some of the appliances. Oven and microwave and stove. And then we'll just continue on down our list. Just feels like a lot sometimes, especially when you're going like in such detail in one specific room. But I know that we are making it down our list. Honestly, having a list is like very motivating to see what you've done and then see like that list kind of dwindle, but let's keep to it. When I'm fighting. Would you fight with me? Would you dive in when the water's deep? So for our bar stools, I'm just wiping these down with my e-cloth and some water. But if you have microfiber furniture really anywhere in your house, typically window cleaner will work so well. And one thing I love about using that is it doesn't leave water spots. But as always, try new things like that in inconspicuous spots first. And that way you know if it'll take well to your specific furniture. You're the place where I begin. When you're falling, falling out of reach, I'll be the tide that's bringing you home to me. And when the sun sets, the light's fading. Ooh. We'll hang on to the moment as far as our eyes.
So for me, cleaning the oven is something I do several times a year, which makes it nice during spring cleaning because it's not like a whole year of caked on food. But honestly, even if I only clean this once a year, I feel like I would still use the same steps. It would just be a lot more elbow grease. But all I'm doing is just sprinkling on some Bon Ami cleaner. And then I just drizzle a little bit of water to kind of create a paste and scrub that in. And then I actually let that sit for just a few minutes to kind of do a little bit of the work for me. And then I also just like to spray a little bit of multi-purpose spray. And that just kind of helps suds everything up and makes it a little bit easier to clean. And then once everything's sat for just a few minutes, I'm going to take a scrubber and just scrub everything down and then wipe it away with a clean cloth and because this is a 16 year old oven it doesn't look new but it does look pretty good and it definitely feels so much cleaner Cleaning a microwave is one of those things that has so many different great effective ways to get it clean but let me know in the comments what is your favorite way to clean your microwave. Just like our oven, our microwave is something that I clean multiple times a year, like honestly probably multiple times a month. I feel like especially now that we have a almost preteen in the house, our microwave is getting used more than ever, meaning it needs to be cleaned more than ever. But because I do clean it fairly often, all I'm doing here is just spraying it down with a multi-purpose spray and then wiping it down with a cloth. And that's really all I need to do. But if you don't clean it as often, you might need to do a little bit more of an intense clean in there.
Okay, I'm honestly kind of surprised that behind the fridge is not a lot dirtier. If you remember my spring cleaning videos from our Utah home, behind the fridge was always just wild. And I was expecting the same thing here, but I think when the painters pulled the fridge out to paint back here, I think they must have grabbed a few things because I'm sure that it just had not stayed this clean. But even still, like it's still dusty and dirty and like whatever that is down in there, that's really dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe everything down sweep everything up and get that looking nice. On my list is to slightly reorganize my pantry. Not really reorganize it, just like make sure that everything's in a spot. It's actually held up so well from whenever we did the pantry makeover video. If you haven't seen it, I'll try to link it up here. But we completely transformed this pantry. We added shelves, we added other like storage units. We painted in here, we added this light in here. Like we did so much. But I actually have not even come back in here to like reorganize anything ever since that video. And I feel like things have held up pretty good. There are a few things that we need to kind of go through so that's what we're gonna focus on now and get this looking perfect again ready or not are you ready or not deep in my heart touching the stars holding on oh so tightly making my plans taking a chance leaving it all behind me never the same riding my way turning my dreams up louder chasing that spark out of the dark running to the final hour there's only one place to go the best is yet to go You'll have to let me know if you saw my pantry makeover video in our new house. I've actually shared several pantry makeovers on my channel. Some were in our Utah home, some were at my friend's house or my sister's homes. But this specific pantry at our new house was the most in-depth transformation and I just love how it turned out and I feel like it works so well. And I've honestly just been so impressed with how well it stayed. Like you're seeing, you know, I do have to do some upkeep here and there, but I really haven't even gone through and done what I'm doing today yet ever since doing the pantry, maybe like six or seven or eight months ago, I'm not sure at this point, but it really just stays so nice. And I feel like for us, I've just found a good balance of what things are good to be put into bins and baskets and what items are really great to put into their own containers. And it's just kind of helped keep a lot of order in our pantry. So if you have not seen that video, I'm gonna go ahead and link it down in the description box for you, but it is just such a good one. And I feel like the transformation was so drastic in this one. So these shelves up high are the ones that Kyle actually built and installed and they hold all of our overflow and bulk items like from places like Costco and I did kind of want to reorganize them just a little bit just to make things kind of work for us a little bit better. They had gotten a bit messy up here and then I also kind of moved things around so it made a huge difference to go ahead and just kind of reorganize the space. And it really does just go to show that you don't need to invest a whole lot of time in certain areas. Sometimes you can just do a quick organization like I'm doing here and it makes a world of difference.
Oh my goodness. So I got a new trash can and I was so excited about it. The lid on our previous trash can has actually been broken for quite a while now and we've just been kind of putting off getting a different one. But once I got this one together, we ended up realizing it wasn't working properly. So I'm going to either have to return or replace it and find a different one, but it just looks so pretty. So I was so excited and then quickly just so bummed about it because it was not what I thought it was gonna be. We are dwindling down our spring cleaning kitchen list and we only have a few more steps. One of the things that I really want to focus on is our table. I always get questions about where we got this table. It was actually custom made by someone just starting like a woodworking business when we lived in Georgia. I feel like you can find similar items on the Facebook marketplace, so that's definitely a good place to check. We love this table. However, it always gets food stuck in all of the crevices. One nice thing is it is like very rustic and so it just keeps looking nice even though if you look close it has a lot of dings and scratches and dents and marks up on it. So anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and tackle these little crevices. What I'm using is just like an old gift card or whatever you have on hand. This will not scratch it, but it will be able to kind of slide in there and get all of the gook out of there. Behold all the pieces of fortress that once stood. The canvases colors can't hold like they once could. Listen to the growing sound of all I've known that bids me farewell. I saw the new horizon deep within your eyes as the autumn leaves fell. And I'm in love. Yeah, I'm in love. You broke me like the dawn breaks through the night. It is so peaceful once your home is clean, or in my case, once one room is super duper clean, the others not so much, but it's really, we're kind of focusing on the one room. So being in the kitchen, it definitely does feel a lot cleaner at this point. And I want to acknowledge, sometimes it is really hard, but really taking pride in taking care of your home and homemaking, it just does make such a difference. A lot of times we can feel overwhelmed, we can feel stressed, we can feel like it is such a burden, but I really do try to look at homemaking not so much as a burden, but instead as a privilege that we are able to have a home to take care of and we are able to provide a welcoming space for not only ourselves, but also for our family. Definitely that little tweak in mindset really makes so much of our days just so much more enjoyable when we're really kind of looking at things as more of a privilege instead of a burden, especially when they're things that you don't necessarily want to do or you don't necessarily love doing.
so finally it is time to clean the floors this is not really a spring cleaning chore but i felt like you know what if i'm doing all this other work I'm gonna finish it up by making sure the floors match the rest of the kitchen. So I wanted to take just a couple of minutes and just go through the floors and vacuum and mop them and make it all look and feel super nice. And as always, I will have everything that I'm using today linked down below. And I also have most of the items saved in my Amazon favorites or in my like to know a page if it's not from Amazon. So I learned the hard way once to always clean the Roborock Dyad out after every single use. Otherwise, it gets very gross and funky smelling really quickly. So if you end up getting one of these or if you have one, be sure to clean it every single time because that dirty water sitting in there for even like a day or two, it is not good. It's so worth taking the extra two minutes to clean it out every single time. So finally, we are done spring cleaning the kitchen and don't forget, I will be sharing several more episodes in the spring cleaning series. That little list right there was a little sneak peek of what's to come. And again, in each episode, there will be a giveaway. So make sure to leave a comment on each of those videos to be entered and subscribed if you're not already. And that way you'll be entering into all the little giveaways as well as a grand prize giveaway. As always, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you lots of cleaning motivation and I also hope it give you some cleaning tips on how to spring clean your own home in just a second you're gonna see some bloopers of me trying to start this video I was really struggling on talking that day apparently but I thought it would just kind of be fun to share with you guys so anyway I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you in my next one bye guys Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are kicking off my brand new spring cleaning video series. Brand new spring cleaning series and 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 deep. So today we are going to be starting uh, and cleaning from in the makeover.
Welcome back to my channel. Today we are, and then once of, so today we are kicking off my brand new series. Oh my gosh, we are going to be going, and we are going to be going. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my. Ch hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this spring cleaning series, today, so today we are. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Uh. Deep cleaning from top to I bottom. Could you try again? Oh my gosh. Uh. 